Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and today we will be doing quite unusual test. I received this Denon test disc to test CD players and it contains quite an interesting material. And what we will be doing, we will be running tests on both CD players to understand where the differences are. Are those uh, similar? Specifically, the sound not similar. The sound pretty different for me. Like uh, this uh, Nakamichi uh, sounds more warm and like uh, more relaxed. And Sony uh, with up sampling because it's super audio CD player. It uh, makes uh, disc sound crystal clear. And at the same time, like um, sound is, is so digital. So very different from what I hear from Nakamichi. And um, my also sound test I did comparing Nakamichi versus my uh, 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 air, air to, to air uh, duck, which I have, shows very similar results on the same material. Uh, when like Sony uh, sounds a little bit more like oh, high tuned, like more high frequencies I can hear. All right. So this one sounds warm. This one sounds cold, if I would say like like that. All right. So. Now, let's do set of tests, and then we will compare in discs. Um, you see there are a couple, some noise on oscilloscope, so I will turn off my LED light. And to start with, uh, we will start with two volts per square. And the first would be level output. And let's see, I'm already tested both, they give the same level. So at 1000 Gertz, we have minus 2.8 decibel. No, I'm sorry, we are on the scale which plus 10 decibel. So technically, output is plus 7.2 decibel, comparing to standards. Uh, if we will measure in volts, it's about 1.8 volts RMS and peak to peak is 5.68 volts. Really, really, really big at 1 kilohertz. That's a difference. All right. So uh, channel separation I tested, it's nothing interesting. Like it's, it gives one channel. And other channel is at zero, the next swaps left and right channel. So you see, on the right channel and on the previous in index is the left channel. Okay. Uh, with this oscilloscope, I cannot measure signal noise and dynamic range, but I was able to measure frequency response. So we need to go to number six. And it starts from 4 gears, so you may see on oscilloscope is pretty low. And even needles here are vibrating. And they vibrating like 0 0.4 decibel lower than the 1000 kilohertz. But that's the biggest deviation I've seen, like on 4 gears. Right? Um, we may uh, scroll to the next minutes. It will give, I believe, 8 gears, and at 8 gears we are already here. We have pretty strong signal, oscilloscope doesn't measure, it says below 10 gears, I can't measure. And next one would be, I believe, 17 gears at 2 minutes. Yes, you see, 17 gears, and the level stays smooth. We are pretty good, and... That's why I measure with oscilloscope and VTVM because uh, it's more precise than, than using the um, T100 software. Uh, all right, 
And next, I believe, will be 31 gears. Yes, that's the 31 gears, and the levels will, will be the same. So technically, levels, uh, I, I run like these frequencies here, and we can run sweep frequency tests at zone 11. Okay, let's go on to 11. So, and it will give level tone, 1 kilogertz, and now it will go from 4 gertz uh, to 20 kilogertz, and you may see deviation. See, it's getting uh, 16 gertz, 22 gertz, 30 gertz, 40, 50, 70, 90, 120, 155, 270, it's pretty linear, 400, 700, 1 kilogears, 2 kilogears, Four kilogertz, five, seven, nine, twelve, fifteen, twenty. You see, um, it's it's technically pretty linear. Like I measure it around zero point two decibel drop from four kilogertz to about nine or ten kilogertz, but it's very minor. All right, so. This is a DM phasis error I cannot measure with this equipment. Distortions and wow and flutter. We need to connect analyzer, but belief is pretty low. It's on 14. And it shows just 3150 frequency. What else I mentioned? As you see, uh, this CD player has left and right channel in phase. That would not be the case with Sony player because it does lots of processing with a digital signal processor and left and right channel will be a little bit off the face. You will see it yourself. Uh, next one, access time. Okay, square wave test, 16. That's an interesting one. That's where we observe how the square signal look like. Uh, if the uh, capacitor is set correctly and so on. So the main point, we need to have horizontal shelf here and here. And this is like, uh, you see this harmonics, it's um, consequence that we have just 40, 41 kilogears sampling frequency, so we cannot approximate it better. And uh, I did test like with uh, my DC. When I get to 192 kilohertz, we have technically square signal. It's very, very close without those harmonics. All right. Next, what we else can do? Impulse test. 17. I'm not sure. There was another one which I was able to see. It's impulse train, it's 23. Yeah. It shows high level impulse and it's just positive as you may see. And this looks pretty good to me. All right, what else we can do? Level linearity test. I did it, it's 13 minutes. I was scrolling and I was switching like levels and it goes exactly like minus 10 decibel, minus 20, minus 30, minus 40, 50 and so on. Unless I can measure. Mm. Technically, oh, we also can do triangle wave tests. But levels are a little bit lower. You may see how triangle wave is shaped. I believe it looks very, very nice to me. All right, and technically that would be it for this CD player. And now let's switch to the lower player. And I have to reconnect the wires. Mm. 
Okay. Now let's start from number one. It's one kilohertz. And as you may see, it's a little bit off face. Pretty minor, but, but still it's there. That's a delay introduced by processing in the DSP unit. All right, and levels is exactly the same as from the Kamichi CD player. So separation of channel, very similar results. Same left channel, right channel. Uh, let's go to number six. It's four gears and I observe the same vibration here. And now I would need to use remote control to fast forward a little bit because this player doesn't have buttons to do it on the front panel. Okay, so it's eight gears and eight gears is pretty smooth. I observe a minor non like it's a uh, difference between left and right channel, but it's pretty minor, 0 0.1 decibel. Okay, let's go to 60, 17 gears. Okay, we are at 17 gears now. And levels normalized in this frequency. Everything is good. Next will be 31 gears. So nothing changes. So next we can go to frequency sweep test. Uh, it's 11. Uh, it will be one kilohertz tone. And then it will do frequency sweep from four gears to 20 kilohertz. And as you may see, it gives pretty the same results as we have observed on the Kamichi deck. 30 gigahertz, 40, 50, 70, 150. Four hundred, very linear. Seven, one thousand. See, let's see if it will be more even than the Kamichi. Two thousand, three thousand, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen. Okay, oh, yeah. it was a little bit more linear than Nakamichi, but difference like 0 0.2 decibel is not worth to talk about. Uh, what else we can do? Allow and flutter is 14, it will give the same 3150 uh, with the phase offset, as you may see. Okay, square wave 16. That would be interesting. Even with oversampling, I believe that I see more ringing, specifically on the shelves. That's interesting result. I didn't expect that. Really. I would need to watch my video to compare with Nakamichi. I believe Nakamichi did a little bit better, there was less ringing. But at least if this shelf's horizontal and the pulse itself, like at the beginning, is, is very straight and good. Okay. Uh, let's go to 23, impulse train. And it's the same, but you may see delay. Is processing and like left right channel. Uh, we currently at 
how many oh I'm sorry well 100 microseconds and one square okay I'm gonna see I lost Okay, one square is 100 microseconds, and I believe delay is about one fifth, like 20 microseconds delay. Okay, between left and right channel. Okay, that's technically would be it. So, as you may see, uh, CD players are more linear than cassette decks, even the best ones because they can play from 4 gears to 20 kilogears technically on with the same level and the biggest issues uh, starts uh, with the low level signals because there is like less bits uh, remains to uh, restore the shape of the signal but technically they are good nice players uh, again like more light enjoy the color so see this a little bit darker i believe this one was darker initially and over years it just started to be a little bit lighter it still looks great all right so thanks for your time it's been a long video i hope it was interesting video for you uh, if i would have more equipment I probably can measure the noise levels and so on, but that would be a different video. Thank you. Bye-bye. Subscribe to my channel.